Fulham 2, Manchester United 1. Manchester United have lost at home today to a very energised, mesmerising, scientific, scintillating football performed by Fulham at Old Trafford. I'm here with a Fulham fan, Eric. Eric. And AJ. AJ. So we're going to analyse what happened today. Congratulations first to Fulham. If we did not, if you guys couldn't finish, this game would have been done in the first half, mate. Absolutely. So tell us, what, how, what was your game plan today? Well, the game plan, I obviously, as a Fulham fan, we we always tend to give the ball up in the midfield. And for some reason, Man Manchester City gave the ball up in Man the midfield. The so it was a game of errors to be played, and we executed. We executed in that those few errors that the ball were given away in the counterattack, and that's what won the game. And that's what won the game. The, the goalies were the players of the game. 100%. But at this point, the midfield is what gave the game away. Absolutely. I mean, unfortunately, kind of expected another poor show. I mean, it's just another time where the game was just squandered in midfield. I mean, constantly. The game was lost in midfield, right? I, I midfield. think so, yeah. They had a better midfield than the United, 100%. Yeah. You can't put the full blame on Onana. Obviously, the last goal, him standing, the ball going no right. I mean, Stem from the midfield, just not and marking the single guy. We as fans could see, there's a guy free. So is it. Oh, absolutely. Ah. And, and there, there's certain players that just were non-existent. Yet again, number 10, Rashford, where was he? It's, it's bothersome to... Uh, yeah, not 90 hear, minutes, 90 not, minutes. Did you hear his name once? No, no, no. no. And, and, you know, uh, Casemiro going out, getting subbed in. I mean, it just... We were just playing like hopeful, just hoping and just hoping, hoping another but Scott McCombie Fulham sub, took the bro. game to us. Yeah, so bro. I commend you guys. You know, if you guys, like I said, if, if we're honest to ourselves, if Fulham could finish, this game would have been done in the oh, first half. I think Absolutely. somebody said it could have been 6-1. Yeah. Easily, because yeah. Fulham had the better team. They had the better ways of playing football. They were running through us like a snicker bar, through a, a, a chainsaw through a snicker bar. Yeah. Right, right through us, yeah. easily. Oh, yeah. So, and you also have to remember that seconds. we were missing Raul Jimenez from a ma major injury last minute, and we were also missing Palinha as a midfielder. So yeah. we had two crucial players out of the game today. We had no expectations to win in the game. Our best result would have been a tie. Right. And so with the midfield, the, the worst part of the game, and we, we actually executed, which normally as a Fulham fan, we usually lose in the midfield and we give up goals. You go back to the Liverpool game, we're winning three to two in the last eight minutes of the game. We give up two goals to lose four to three based off the midfield. Like, On a scale of one to ten, what would you give him a full performance today? Oh, this is a pure ten. Whoa. Based off the act, based off the players that we Must had nice. and the players that we're missing yeah. because it's all about leadership. 100%. It's all about executing. And it's a victory at Old Trafford. And, and, Old Trafford, and on top of that, it's a way. And to be not being played in Craven Cottage and to beat Man U, huge victory, monumental, and this will probably put us in the top 10 <laughs> at the end of the season. What, 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 what are you going to give us? I'm going to give you a nice Harry Maguire 5. That's because cool, yeah. he got one dome in there. That's cool. But then how was the game lost? Sad. Yeah. Him having to fall back from playing up in midfield, trying to run it back. And again, I mean, it was just, it was an abysmal performance. And I'm it, it, just it, bummed again because we gave it away. I mean, do, do we need Hoyland that much? You could see the difference. You could see the difference. The, you, the difference is so clear of Hoyland not in that team today. I don't think Bruno. No could one could hold the ball up. Rock. No one could. No the one ball could. was coming right back. The yeah. ball was coming right. No one was harassing those defenders up front because, no. you know what? But overall, let's not take away from Fulham. They came, they saw, they conquered, and they left with three Absolutely. points. We have to accept it from all of us. Fulham to Man United losing at home the game. I'm here, Eric and AJ. AJ. It's been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the Come biggest on, you best fan channel in the United States. All, from all of us, any last words? Glory, oh, glory, Man United. Last, last words, else. Fulham, we will end in at least the top eight. Let's keep pushing. That's our, that's our main goal. No relegation from now on for the past two years, and we keep pushing forward. Come on, you Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, guys. The Reds go marching.